Hello everybody and thank you much for joining me again. Previously I done a video about Onshape. Um, Onshape basically is a web-based CAD system that you can use on pretty much any platform. You just log into their website and you can start using the powerful CAD software within the browser. So that video that I done previously, I think about a year ago, back then um, I just watched a bunch of tutorials learn just the basics, how this program works, and then just recorded a video showing to you how it's performing on Samsung DeX. What's the difference between then and now? I've been using Onshape for about three months straight, just creating stuff and then 3D printing them on my ND3 Pro, which is just here in the corner, and probably Mike will be able to pick it up, or I hope won't pick it up the sound because the free, right now the printer is doing a three hour job printing apart for me. But I was designing all sorts like for example, this um, this scraper to get the 3D print parts of of the um, of the 3D printer bed, and when I was doing my Samsung DeX slash Windows setup, uh, and I was demonstrating everything how everything is connected, most of the parts is basically I designed and inside the on shape, and then using my Ender Free Pro 3D printer was printing them. So I think right now this video is. I hope this video is going to be more informative for you how they're on shape performing on Samsung Dex. I'm using my ultra wide Samsung monitor, 3440 by 1440p resolution, but I reduced resolution to 1080p just for easier for me to do a screen recording. And on shape gives you two options for your account a pro version and a free version. Pro version is quite expensive. I don't know exactly the price, but it's quite expensive. And the free version is basically you get exactly the same tools that you will get on a pro version. But the difference between free and the pro, free version is basically whatever you will create inside the free account, anyone has access to it. Anyone can copy whatever you created and anyone can do whatever they like with the things you create inside the free, free account because it's just free for everyone. So if you're planning to create something that later you're gonna mass produce and you'll start earning money, so you better use uh, offline uh, alternative like Fusion 365, Fusion 360, not Fusion 365, Fusion 360, FreeCAD or something like that, um, because on chip free account, basically everyone can get access. Okay, everyone can get access. I'm using a on chip free account because the things I create is just the silly things like this one, what I'm gonna do now. I have a couple of USB Type-C cables uh, at the side of my desk, but they just keep falling off. So I'm planning to create, design and create something that I can attach to the desk with the two holes where I can just put the uh, USB-C cables and they're gonna just always be accessible. I know there is a lot of these can be 3D printed already, already been designed, a bunch of them inside the Fingerverse, but I don't wanna go and download someone else um, someone else's design, even if it's free, I just want to mess around and create my own because I feel that I accomplished something because I created something and I 3D printed that I can actually touch and feel that it's, it's designed by me. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to create this thing. We're going to go in a Samsung internet browser and I have a onshape uh, underscore CAD link already in my quick access panel. So next thing, I'm just going to start punching my email address. My tablet is going to say identify using a fingerprint. So I'm going to do that. And in a second, it should load. I'm going to use function 11, F11, function F11, just to get this full screen. So here we go. I'm getting full screen inside of this page. When I'm using ultra wide monitor, I'm going full screen. It's even better because I get almost 100% of screen real estate to be used for on shape. So as you can see, I have a bunch of these things created here. Household stuff. There is a bunch of hooks and things like a radiator hook are created to put their hand, um, the towels next to the radiator to dry them quicker. The DeX Windows Battle Station, so that's the, all the parts I created for my DeX Windows setup, all these things. And that's the one, desk cable holder. That's the one we're gonna recreate. Uh, one is above, I already was messing around, so we're just gonna create a new one. Create a document and say, let's name it YouTube again. If you're planning to use this, uh, one thing I will show you straight away that what you need to do, um, is change your measurements. Uh, by default, everything will be in inches. So if you go at these three lines and click workspace unit, mine is set to millimeters. To set that, you need to go top right hand corner, click on your My Account, and under Preferences, you length unit, change from inches to whatever you want. I change to millimeters. So let's go back here, double click on YouTube, and we're gonna start creating. P is to turn off all the panels. I'm just gonna leave panel top one on. 
F is to do full screen of the selected area and N is to face north. Okay, shift S is start sketch, click on the top and then right now I can sketch all over it. We're gonna grab a caliper. I'm gonna quickly measure it just to make sure it's 16 millimeters. So we're just gonna click R for rectangle, a proportional rectangle. So I'm gonna say uh, 20 millimeters in and 16 millimeters height. So 20, so two centimeters gonna go around the desk and 16 millimeters is height or gap between just to get the desk inside there. Next thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click G for uh, the uh, free to move um, rectangle. And I'm gonna do something like this. So D is for dimensions. Any program you're using, you need to learn shortcut keys because they, it's gonna speed up your workflow absolutely 2 million percent. I'm just quickly adding all the dimensions. So I have free, 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 free all around. We're just gonna delete that. So next thing, we need to uh, make uh, extension. So we're gonna click G again, we're gonna click on here. I'm just gonna extend this to be two centimeters as well. And three millimeters height, that's fine. I'm just gonna go inside. M is to remove the line or trim the line. So I'm just clicking this. So right now all this shape is basically this kind of shape. I think I overkilled here. So D instead of 20, I'm gonna type 15. So it's reduces in this. Next thing, um, I don't want this to be uh, flat, like straight away. 90 degrees angle. I want to make sure that it has some some like a spring mechanism, like a tension to proper go all around the desk instead of just being loose. So press C to circle and I'm just gonna do like this. Actually the circle is a bit too big. Uh, we, um, we're gonna do from here somewhere. Uh, yeah, that will do. So click on here, M to remove the lines or remove the lines. So mouse wheel, uh, scroll does a zoom in and out which is fantastic so that's what we're gonna be control and right mouse click moves around okay so we're gonna uh from here go up here actually no uh escape if i was about to press escape when you press escape on side any browser-based software on side inside the shadow inside shadow pc inside samsung dex it acts as a back button so make sure you never well, you be careful pressing escape key. The way I do it, if I have, say, something happening here, like for example, I I want, um, I want, hold on, let's, let's zoom in. W is to zoom in the portion of the page. So if I start to draw a line on the windows, I press escape and deselect the line feature on inside the decks uh, on this on shape, I just basically click L again and just deselect. So if I press D to do a measurements, and I press D again and deselect instead of me pressing escape. So we're just gonna remove this line and I wanna remove this line. We're just gonna go from here all the way down and from here, oops, and from here all the way. So that's, that's this. I'm gonna go down about here and I'm gonna click from here all the way here. It's not pretty, but that will do. Uh, six, let's do a uh, four. So that's increased, okay. So we're gonna make this gap about three. That will do, so it's, it's, it makes like a little tension. I don't know, when I'm 3D printing, my 3D printer never do exactly the right measurements. I, I mean, I can fine tune and make it exactly, but I'm just got used to it. So if I'm printing something, 3D printing something that is five centimeters in length, it's actually gonna be 5.3 or 5.4, cause it just adds just extra tiny millimeters at the either side. So when this is exactly 16 millimeters, or should be 16 millimeters here, it's 14.4. So this is not a big deal. I'm gonna do 15, cause I know it's gonna do extra bits on the top. I actually know, you know what, let's leave it 14 because the plastic will flex and it's just definitely gonna go around it. So I'm just gonna click M and delete this portion of that. So I'm gonna click on the green tick box at the top, which means I, I just, um, lock the sketch and what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna click on all this press shift e to extrude and extrude up to two centimeters that will do so this is my hook this is where the desk will go in and now i'm gonna go at the top here right click uh, before right click i'm click on this select this panel right click and see i want to sketch on top of it so right now press p to remove all the panels and i'm gonna do a uh, one circle here, which is going to be uh, six millimeters. That's fine. And somewhere here, six millimeters. That's fine. Let's make this one from this edge to be 
six as well and i think this one gonna be five and let's change this one to be five as well from this edge to this circle center will be six let's get a bit more in and this one from this edge will be six that's it that's fine next thing i'm gonna click r to a proportional rectangle so what that means that uh, it extends like this it goes if you move one way it expands uh, both directions so i'm just gonna do something like this which is gonna be 10 here this is just for my like a reference it's not gonna be uh, actually four is too big it's not like it's gonna be used for anything then uh make a slot for the cable to go in so we're gonna do 10 here and we're gonna do three here actually when start of 10 i pressed one by accident and just forgot to put the zero okay so if i'm gonna click on this so i have these so i'm click inside this shape click click no control click just one thing one mouse click press shift e to extrude and instead of add i'm just gonna click remove and here we go i'm gonna click on this edge and on this edge i'm gonna go here which says fillet or i wanna chamfer i'm gonna say chamfer by one no it's too too small by two too big let's do 1.5 and like I said, 3D printer is not going to do 1.5 here. It's going to be probably 1.6, 0.7. What else I need to do? Right, edges. Um, 3D printer, print, my 3D printer prints fantastic things. Like I printed, what is it? Like this little fella, Mr. T-Rex. Um, but the, it's just I don't like to, when I'm creating something, I don't want to create uh, sharp edges. So I'm just going to create, create, create a couple of lines. So one of this line, this line, this line, and this line. It just, I'm going to help. Shift F is to uh, make fillet, and I'm gonna say two millimeters and grab okay. So right now, as you can see, the rounded shape, rounded corners. So I'm gonna click on this as well, and click fillet. I'm gonna say two millimeters. No, that you don't like two millimeters. So what about one millimeter? Yep, yeah, one millimeter is fine. So it's created all, all around. So all four edges. I'm gonna leave this as it is here, and and that's it. So next, I'm just going to right click on the part. I'm going to say, let's say, desk cables hook 16 mm. I'm just like to mention the uh, uh, dimension in my file names because I know the most important part, which is how gap between the two prongs uh, to go all around the desk is 16 millimeters. I'm going to right click on this, click export. The slicers that uh, the program is called slicers and the slicer is doing the slicing of your 3D model for the printer to be understand how to print. Print understands G-code and the slicers creates STL, converts STL file to a G-code. So that's why I'm gonna select STL here. I'm gonna say units millimeters and I click OK. And next thing, I'm just gonna take this file and import into a web-based uh, slicer, uh, 3D printer control program or service called AstroPrint, which I will cover in the future videos because I'm planning to do right now a couple of videos about Samsung DeX in the 3D printer and how you can use both of them together. And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take this thing that is behind the camera now. I'm just gonna pull this out. And this is this is what I just designed and I printed uh, previously, like in a nice cooking show. Oh, I done this before, I done this previously. So there's the two holes. That's where the chamfer is. That's where the cable can go in. I hope I will be able to demonstrate that for you. Okay, cable is not long enough. Let me find the longer cable. Imagine this is goes all around the desk. Here we go. Fantastic. And I'm gonna use, I'm using already this the side of the desk, so I can take the cable out, put back in, and it's not gonna go anywhere because it's just uh, like stuck in here. Obviously, I can take it out, put the new one in, but that's how I'm using uh, this one out. And this is on shape on a Samsung DeX, and you can create an amazing things on the on shape. Like I said, I. I I've done a lot of things for my Samsung DeX slash window setup. Like for example, this, this is the uh, a water cooler container holder for the monitor mount that is behind it. If you don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about, you need to check my previous video and you'll see uh, a, my previous video about my Samsung DeX slash window setup. That's the one is in there. So that's where it goes all around the uh, mounting uh, monitor mount pole. Uh, I use the, uh, 10 millimeter screw to tighten up and this one goes just above there just to make sure it just doesn't rock back and forth and as you can see it's a lot of things like that a lot of sketches extrude extrude transform split fillet extrude like extrude seven times and 
It's just what I, I, back in university, when I was learning a CAD, I was rubbish at it. I barely passed the exam. But now I'm so hooked on all this because I do have a 3D printer and I feel that I create something instead of just leaving it as digitally. I feel that I am actually creating something because I create something that I want to use. I don't want to go and buy it. I'd rather create my own and then 3D print and I can feel and touch the exist. Like for example, this one, this is the uh, table mount hooks. I think I had somewhere one and I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I do, I do have, here we go. That's the one. So it just goes all around, around the metal uh, holder, like metal pole for the for the monitor, and the cables goes through here, and this much neater and cleaner setup. So on shape on the Samsung DeX inside Samsung Internet Browser, available for free for you to use. But like I said, the free version basically gives access to everyone to your uh, your creations. So if you're planning to use on shape to create something that later you would mass produce and start making money. Use something else, but Onshape is a very good program. It's, uh, it's very powerful too. Once you start creating and you literally, once you know all the ins and outs of this program, you will make some amazing things. I believe that. So thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.